How are we doing guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be updating my settings guide for you guys on console. One of the things I've noticed during these holidays is there's a bunch of people asking me questions in my old guide videos, which tells me there's a lot of new and returning players coming to the game, which is great news. So I do want to update this for you guys to help you in your journey in BDO. Now, um, that being said, I'm doing the settings video today. I'll do a UI video as well, separately. And then I'll see what other guides I need to update, or if I do need to update other guides after that. The first tip I'll give you, if you hold in your right D-pad, you can change your zoom in and zoom out with your right thumbstick. And you can change your center screen using your left thumbstick. I wouldn't recommend changing your center screen though. Uh, but that being said, let's get into the settings. So press start, come down here to settings and settings again. Performance settings, old gen, turn this on, new gen, it's up to you, you can experiment. I don't notice much of a difference, I keep it off personally. What this means is, when this is turned on and the number is low, the lower the number is, the closer adventurers have to be for you to be able to see them, but the better your performance is going to be if you do that. The, the bigger this number is, you can see people further away, but it reduces your performance. So just experiment and see what's best for you. Hide other adventures. Uh, I'd recommend new players to probably turn this one on and returning players because when you're doing world bosses or, you go, or you're around a lot of people, it hides them for you to massively increase your performance, um, which is a good thing. The reason I have it turned off and why it probably more other veteran players have it turned off is when you're engaging in large-scale PvP, you don't want to be hit by invisible people, so that's why we have that turned off. <clears throat> Attack decisions, up to you. Personal flair. But basically, when you hit monsters or opponents, that crit damage, back attack damage, air attack, and down attack, those icons no longer appear, so it reduces the clutter on your screen. A tip I would give you um, experienced players or people that get to that point when, as, the, as you play the game, when you get to Olin's, turn this on. Because you want to see whether or not you're getting back attacks. And a lot of the animations of the Orlands are a bit wonky. So even though on your screen it might look like you're getting back attacks, you're not actually getting them. By turning this on, you can see exactly when you are and when you're not and when you need to reposition yourself to do maximum damage. Defense icons. Whether you're new, returning, or a veteran player, you want to have this on. It lets you know which one of your skills is super armor, which of your skills are forward guard, and which of your skills are iframe. With those three different icons that you just saw there. If you're in battle arena fighting opponents, you can also see exactly which one of their skills is protected and which of their skills is not protected, letting you learn how to play against other players and other classes. And the last thing it really helps you with, if you have certain skills that are uh, not protected when they're on cooldown, it lets you know that, okay, oh, okay, I used the skill properly. Oh, I misplayed. I shouldn't have done that skill. And since I misplayed and I should have done that skill, it's probably coming off cooldown soon so I can use it again and get the protection. So there are other nice bits of information that it gives you, which you will start noticing more once you get more comfortable with the game, more comfortable with your class, and you get a bit more experienced. It's going to have a lot more benefits. But even until you get to that point, it's still got way too many benefits to turn this off. The next one, misaffects personal preference. When you hit opponents, when you hit mobs, it lets you know when you miss. I find it useful because it lets me know whether I need more accuracy for certain grind spots and it lets me know whether or not my, the opponents I'm fighting are evasion of DR. It, lets, it indicates whether they're evasion of DR depending on my uh, miss effects. So then for myself, I can change to, let's say, an accuracy offhand to change whether or not, uh, to change my accuracy so I can hit my opponents more. So there, it does give you some useful information there. Uh, next one. The hide other adventurous outfits, I would recommend you turn this one on. There's a bunch of people around you, it puts them in default outfits to improve your performance. Worker progress, I have that one turned off. Next one, uh, display settings, display quality. I have all these turned off, especially the last two. You don't want your screen flashing and going red, it's, it's really annoying. If you're a PvE only player and you want the immersion, go ahead and turn it on. But this first one here, remove other adventurous effects. You actually want to turn this on when you're doing world bosses or large scale PvP, or if you're in a place with a bunch of people around you doing skills. Because when you're in these specific scenarios, when all these skills are going off, it's going to have a really bad impact on your performance. So by turning this on, which turns off other people's skills, it's going to drastically increase your performance. And on top of that, when you can see all their skills, 
it's extremely it's really hard to see what's actually happening because so many skills are going off that all you see is an explosion of colors on your screen so it's really hard to track where people are where you are and what the hell is going on so that's the specific scenarios you want to turn that on in uh personal preference the higher this number is the darker it is the lower this number is the lighter it is up to you what you like and on your monitor as well uh camera vision range old gen if you reduce this one it reduces your field of view zooms you in but increases your performance next gen slash current gen i'd recommend probably keeping this maxed out it's better to have a large field of view but it is up to you um if you are going to zoom in if you just like playing a bit more zoomed in i'd recommend doing it from the settings tab and not from the first the d-pad that i showed you at the beginning of the video because this will improve your performance a lot more than what i showed you at the beginning you can do both if you want to so have like a specific one but i'd recommend coming here first if you want to reduce the vision range hdr on console you don't ever want this turned on our, our hardware is not good enough for that so keep that one turned off unless you're a content creator which uh, then obviously you might want to have some more flashy stuff for some of your videos and you can turn it on for that audio settings all personal preference up to you what you want the one advice i would give though is toggle your fairy voice off because your fairy can get quite annoying general settings show hide i'd like to hide my name and keep my health bar on but if you want you can take your health bar away so now it's just a little bit more clean but it gives you it's important information to see your health and it's a lot easier to track your health and your mana when it's just above your character rather than glancing at the top left of your screen and then with the name as well you can turn that on if you want it will show you your name your family name what guild you're in and any cool rankings that you have so for me i'm the number four player on ruler p for hunting and number one player on ruler p for rbf but um don't worry if you do like to show off other players can still see it if you do turn it off for yourself so even though i can't see it anyone else that looks at me right now will have that information shown to them um next one so other other names monster names hps party and guild i have these on i'd recommend having it on but it is personal preference so you can mess around with it if you want um look pa has repeated some of these settings which you know i don't know why it is redundant but we've already talked about attack decision defense icons attack decisions off defense icons on miss effects on we've discussed these um, now one tip i'll give you coming back up here in large scale pvp when you get to that stage or if you are at that stage already if you're in a party with other people if you actually turn off your uh, guild members names it's a lot easier to track the people you're in a party with since their names will pop up but your guild members names won't pop up so in that blob you can see where your party members are super helpful there um that's if this is turned off another thing it does improve your performance a little bit and also when you're engaging on enemies it's a lot easier to pick out enemies when you can see their names and your guild members names are hidden so that's another advantage it has there but generally outside of large scale pvp always have this turned on and uh fairy you do want to hide that and pets i hide it to reduce clutter but the, the advantage of showing your pets is when you can physically see your pets it means you have your pets out when you physically can't see your pets it means you have your pets put away so there is an advantage but just to reduce clutter i like to hide that notifications is personal preference this is how i've got mine feel free to copy it and one thing is the marketplace if you want to see what's happening in the marketplace i wouldn't recommend turning it on here because what happens is when something gets registered let's say a pen black star gets registered it pops up on the top of your screen but you can also have it pop up in your chat menu which for me is on my bottom left it's better to have it pop up in your chat menu than it is on top of your screen because it pops up faster in the chat menu so if you're trying to snipe something it's much better to have it pop up there which is why i have which i could which you will see in a moment um so yeah that's that one and if you want to see if people are enhancing whether they've seen a failing you can turn this on as well for a bit more immersion uh but that is up to you uh languages i've never t changed that one i don't really know what it does i've kept it on international uh so others crossplay if you turn this off you can only play on inferior if you playstation you can only play on florin if you're xbox so all the other servers you'll be locked out of so i would not recommend turning this on which definitely means you want to turn the next one off this is the camera effect is basically your camera shake if you keep this at zero you have no camera shake which is really really nice if you only do pve and you want a bit of immersion 
you can bump this up a little bit to have some camera shake when you're doing skills, but I wouldn't go too crazy with it because it can get disorientating. Now, new players, I know that this says it's recommended for you to turn it on. Do not listen to them. This is a terrible, terrible, terrible recommendation. When you turn this on, it, it stops you from being able to do certain cancels on your class and it changes how your skills interact, which for the most part is a bad thing. There is a small advantage when you're doing certain skills, but there's so many disadvantages that that small advantage is not worth it. And by just getting better at the game, it doesn't matter. That advantage is then taken away because you will be able to do it yourself. Okay? I'm not going to go too in depth exactly what I mean because it is kind of complicated. But just trust me when I say you want that one turned off. Now, this is personal preference. I've played the game for a long time, so I have my navigation turned off. I know exactly where I am and where I'm going, so I don't need it. But if you do turn it on like this, when you have um, auto path, you can see on the ground in front of me, there's a line showing me where to go. But I don't need that. So when I have an auto path, I can just put the auto path up and look at my map and kind of know where I'm going anyway. And then I will turn off. Is it in others? Yeah, I will turn this one off. And if you don't like a line, you want an arrow or you want something else then go ahead and change it to something else. So after that one, I have all of these off except for the auto run camera, which is maxed out and hide other adventurers campsites. I have this turned on. I don't want to see other adventurers camps. I'd recommend you guys do the same here. But if there's a toxic player that's trying to interrupt you from PVPing, PVEing or just playing the game, they can spam, spam you with friend requests and they can spam you with like guild invites and other invitations. So you can turn these two on if you if you do have that toxic player if you do inter if you do come into contact with a toxic player like that and then that will stop them from being able to interrupt your grind. So that is a tip and trick I will give you guys. But that's basically it for general settings. The last one here, the interface. I wouldn't recommend messing around with any of these unless you really know what you're doing here. Controller interface. Um, I'd recommend turning your vibration off. Basically, copy what I've got here, unless you're an invert player, which I doubt you are. I, I don't think anyone. I don't know any invert players. I'm sure a very small percentage of people play like that. But here's the big three, okay? You want to disable your camera acceleration. You want your horizontal at max and your vertical at a lower number. It doesn't have to be five. It could be between like two and ten. Now, if you're a ranged player, you want this number to maybe a bit higher so you can... You can quickly look, you can look up faster and look down faster to change your angle that in which you shoot people from range. But melee players, you can keep it lower because looking up and down doesn't really matter. Now, the horizontal one with no camera acceleration basically lets you if, you, if you just slam down left or right, you can quickly flip around what direction you're looking in, which is very useful. And if you don't disable this camera acceleration, I can show you guys what it does. If you don't cancel it, right, you can see it's, it's slow and then it speeds up. This is terrible. You want to have a unified camera angle move speed. It's going to be very helpful for your muscle memory. Um, so that's why you want it like that. And you want to play at 100 because in BDO, it's, it's important to be able to look behind you as quickly as possible. And to change the way your forward guards are facing and the movement skills are going in. It's very important to be able to flip as much as possible. If you're ranged and you're having difficulties aiming, then maybe reduce this a little bit. But give yourself a week, at least a week. If you can't get used to it, turn this down a little bit. But it will take a minute. At the beginning, it's going to feel like you can't control it at all. But eventually, you will be able to control it once you give yourself a bit more time. And then last one, manual camera adjust while moving. Chat window, this is all personal preference. This is how I've got my chat window set up. Currently, I'm recording a video, so I've got a guild chat turned off. But normally, I'd have it turned on because I want to see what people in the guild are saying. And these are all my systems here. And here we go, system marketplace. This is what we talked about earlier. So when something gets registered on the market, it goes to my chat menu here instead of the top of my screen because that is faster for when I want to, before when I want to snipe things. So these are all my settings here. And if, to tell you guys what these two mean, if you're not sure, when you are PvEing and you kill mobs and they drop trash loot, you can see the trash loot pop up in your chat menu as well as rare items that you get dropped. So you can turn that on if you want. And basically this is the same thing, but for your party members, it shows their, info, it shows their loot information in your chat menu there. And that is the settings. 
Guys, I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, please let me know. And I hope you guys had a great Christmas. I hope you're going to have a great new year coming up. And I look forward to seeing you guys a bit more in 2023.